I think we here. Greetings all, greetings, greetings, greetings. How y'all doing out there? Welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new episode of the Brain Matter Morning Show. Brought to you in part by Brain Matter Studios and Stop Hating Productions. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to the live recording of the Brain Matter Morning Show Live. First and foremost, before I get started, I want to thank the Most High for allowing me to use my voice to be an instrument to build the tune of truth to all that hears it. So shouts out to the creator right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while since I've been on the air. It's been a lot of things going on in my personal life, but I'm not going to talk about too much of it. But, um, a lot of people have been speaking to me and been talking to me about what to talk about on the air. So, I decided, you know, since to go along with the closing of March and the beginning of April, I've got a lot of comments and people wanted me to speak on selfish people. All about you, not. Now, before I get into um, what I'm going to talk about this evening, and once again, before I go any further, I want to let you know there will be the recorded version. You can listen to it tomorrow on Spotify and iHeartRadio at 10 a.m. in the morning. But tonight... I decided to go live and I decided to put this out there. And thank you. I want to thank all my listeners, family, followers, and friends. Okay. Now, before I get into what I'm going to talk about tonight, I'm going to first send a message real quick. Let me see here. Let me see. Because I got somebody that um that's that uh wanna come on the show, but they done been on the show. But it's been a while. And I mean I got um a person that wants to come on the show. I mean, they've been here before, but, you know, a couple of my pod beamers, they've been asking about this certain person. So we're going to see if they're going to show up tonight. But what we're going to talk about tonight, let me try one more thing. Let me see. Cause I think we should be friends. So we'll actually hear. I think we are. Yeah. Bam. See if we can get some dialect going on tonight. Because this is a very, very, this is going to be a very, you know what I'm saying, interesting podcast tonight. So, what I'm going to talk about, it's going to be pretty deep. And like I said, this is a, um, brought to you in part by Brain Matter Studios and Stop Hating Productions. But I'm going to give it a few minutes before I take off. But first, before I get into it, I'm going to go ahead on and say what I need to say about this subject matter at hand. Now, we all know, you know, and it's for the ones who don't know. I think it was yesterday, we had another school shooting. A 28-year-old woman, which it really doesn't matter what her ethnicity is, but 
She went into a school and she shot three students and three adults. So in total, she killed six people before the police arrived and neutralized the threat, which also killing her. So, we have a moment of silence. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for that moment of silence. Our hearts and our prayers and our thoughts go out to the family members of the loved ones that was lost yesterday on that tragic school shooting that happened in Tennessee. Thank y'all for y'all respect and thank y'all for y'all prayers. And y'all thoughts. And if there's anything. That Brain Matter Studios. Stop Hating Productions. And also an affiliate. Which is also a good friend of mine. That goes by. Uh, Chef DJ Ambassador for Christ. If there's anything that can be done. Y'all know how to get in contact with us. Alright. Now. Let's get into the subject matter of hand. Because somebody asked me, you know, they said they would like for me to speak on the solution to how do we prevent such heinous acts from happening. Actually, I was having a conversation with a uh, a coworker of mine today, and you know, um, also on yesterday, I also took another opinion on the subject matter at hand, and what I've come up with is that. This is not a Democratic or Republican problem. This is not a NRA problem. The problem with being able to prevent these kind of acts is the unpredictability of people. Because you can have a hundred thousand laws. You can take away all the assault rifles and you can take away the pistols and hell, you can even take away the nunchucks and knives. But the mind of the people is unpredictable. I've even also heard that the idea was floating around where it shouldn't be an idea. But I also heard on another talk show that we need an armed guard, an armed police officer in every school. Across America. But ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask you a question. Does that. Capture the unpredictability. Of the person standing next to you. Does it hone me on the thought. Of somebody. 
climbing through a window. Armed with two assault rifles and a pistol to open fire on innocent children and adults. Now, we've seen such things before. Um, I don't even want to even go back. Because I'm 41 years old, so I can go back to Columbine. And even the actions of that was unpredictable. They didn't know them two boys was going to show up that morning and make life a living hell for all of those innocent people that lost loved ones on that day? And we done been through this countless time and time again throughout society. Murders, kills, you know what I'm saying? Things like this happening and the unpredictability is something that we just can't capture. It's up to the, the discretion of the individual to not have it on their mind. So we can go to Congress. We can go to the legislator. We can go to the NRA, we can go to wherever you want to go. I go with you. But the unpredictability of the next person is something that you can't predict. I mean, it was a movie about it with Tom Cruise in it, what Minority Report, where they was doing like pre-crime, so they can be able to tell that somebody's going to do something before they do it, so they arrest them before they do it. And that's just not how life works. As hard as it is for me to admit that, that's just not how this life works. Because if that was the case, if we can predict something bad happened before it happened, then guess what? We'll be able to prevent death. And I know it's somebody that you love near and dear that you wish they were still here right now. But if you could prevent them dying, you would. So, understand me, listeners, followers, family and friends, the world. I'm not giving evil a past to just go out and be evil. I'm not doing that. But what I am doing is I'm raising the awareness and the alarm to be more aware of your self-aroundings. Most of the people that don't look right, they ain't right. And sometimes it be that motherfucker, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cuss, but y'all know how I do. If I can't be me, then I don't want to be nothing. But 
It be that motherfucker that you let get past. Because in the back of your mind, you didn't think it, but it crossed your mind, but then you, it, it, the unpredictable, it's like, it's like you got the, I don't know, it's, it, there's no answer to the evil and demonic way of thinking that people do these kind of things because a mental illness is something that I'm just not going to allow the media to whitewash this wit to be like uh she was suffering from mental illness and Motherfucker, I suffer from mental illness. And I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny. I'm being human, like, to the point to where... But my mental illness... It's something that I don't hide behind. And it's something I don't brag about. It, it's like. My imperf. No, no, it's something that. It, it's, it's in my imperfect. Like, okay, I might just. I don't know. What it technically is. And it's probably a good thing. Because maybe that's why I fight it so much. Because it might be a feeling that I get a feeling of doubt or disparity or, or or I might be feeling some type of way about myself or I might, you know what I'm saying? But it, I, I battle with it real good. But taking the next person's life with not even my own is something that I don't even consider. Because what if I like, no, and I'm being real with y'all, ladies and gentlemen. I want y'all to go here with me so... I want y'all to understand, like, what I'm really, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Okay, so let's say, okay, I shoot myself in the face, right? What if I fuck Ryan and do shoot myself in the face, but I miss, and I got a hole in my head, right? And every time the air hit it, I feel a pain. And for the rest of my life, I got to live with that pain in my head because it's a reminder I shouldn't try to kill myself. Or I get caught, right? But they don't kill me. And I get caught, right? And I got to do the rest of my life in prison. And they probably shoot me. You know what I'm saying? Or some shit like that. And then I probably, I'm already a hundred and some pounds. So one shotgun, it, it probably be damn near over. You know what I'm saying? So I might be uncomfortable in that motherfucker like. So I probably can't do that neither. So then I got a son. Like, so what would he think? If his daddy just went ape shit and went all off you. Yeah. And then like uh I can't do it. Even at my worst my worst or uh, however it might go, I will never do what I what I witnessed or what we all witnessed yesterday because number one there's other options there's other options you know you can like Find something else to do besides that. 
Well, then, you know, you ain't, you, everybody's not me. And everybody's not going to see the world how I see it. No, they're not. I understand that. But what I'm really tying all this into is she was just being selfish. Even though she's no longer with us because Confirmed to the com- the reports that they gave out yesterday, she's dead. They killed her, you know what I'm saying, before she can kill more. So she's no longer with us, so we will never know the motive and the intent behind what she decided to do. We'll always be one of it'd be one of them things that you just always have to wonder about. But This is where we separate this from that. How many times have you got upset? How many times have things haven't went your way? How many times you've been fucked over? How many times have you lost someone? But the choice to go out and take somebody else's life outside of your own and outside of all the options that you have that you can deter from that, that's selfish. And I'm going to call it what it is. That's selfish. That's some selfish ass activity. America has children. So you don't think now that all this stuff been going on, you don't think in the back of their mind that that's on it? Of course. But the unpredictability is something that we can come close to. Or I'm just going to tell you straight up, Congress. NRA. To all the gun owners out there. um, It's not your fault. What that woman did and so many others have done. With guns and any kind of thing that was made for recreation has been turned into a weapon, which now in today's society is common. So I don't feel bad about mine. I have guns. So, it's not your fault. So, we can sit up and go back and forward, argue with Congress and make President Biden get up here and say something. But President Biden, I'm going to tell you, if you're listening, what you need to say, I and we pray that people make better choices. Because that's all you can say. Because there's nothing you can do. There's nothing Congress. There's nothing the NRA. There's nothing that you can do. But 
You can hope people make better choices. And I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave that right there. Because, see, I think that right there will ease the comfort of the minds of the people in position of power that make the decisions. And when these type of things happen, the first thing they want to do is blame. You know what I'm saying? No, you can't do that. Because that gun then get out that closet or wherever it came from, loaded itself and went out and started shooting. Somebody had to get it there to make it do what it do. It takes two, baby. So, as I speak to the American people, even people around the world, um, I'm speaking to you because I want you to understand when somebody do something stupid like that, the last person that needs to be prosecuted is you. Because you didn't make them do it. They chose to do it. Now, when I talk about selfish people part two, We're going to talk about the cop out and I'm going to pull up every cop out that people can hide behind to say, this is the reason why they did that dumb ass shit that they doing. Because there's a cop. There's plenty of cop outs, plenty of cop outs. I'll give you one, but not too many of them, but I'll give you one. Because the first thing they're going to say, like I said in the podcast earlier, and I gave that, that, I said it in the form of a joke, but I was really actually being real. Because so many people of the masses, not the majority, because see, one thing I want you to remember about this podcast, not only we separate real from fake, We also separate the majority from the masses because the majority of people do dumb ass shit, but the masses of people feel just like you. And those are the people I am speaking to and maybe some of the majority. So, like I said earlier, first thing they're going to say, she's suffering from mental illness and so is 28 million other people in this country, probably more all around the world, but they wouldn't have woke up and did what you did. So be easy on yourself, man. Be easy on the person next to you and the person next to you. Be easy on the person. Cause get what? That ain't them. That ain't them. They trying to get to work. They trying to buy their groceries. They trying to buy all the stuff they trying to buy that you trying to buy. Ain't nobody trying to bother nobody. It's just them type of folk. But the unpredictability, it's just, I'm sorry, it's just going to be there. So, I hope people make better choices. And I pray, here you go now, see, here you go. See, this is where, if it, see, this is why I got that hottest podcast in Austin, Texas. Because, see, I don't hold nothing back, and I tie everything into what I got to say. Now, I pray. That I be in a position, a position to be able to protect myself and the ones I'm love and the ones I love for whosoever so try to go there.
I pray that I am in a, in a position to be able to protect myself and the ones I love against whosoever try to go there. And I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave that there, ladies and gentlemen. Because I want y'all to know everything ain't your fault. That don't mean all people are bad. That just means some ain't too good. So, that's that right there. Now, what y'all been waiting for? You know what I'm saying? Um, um, I, I, well, I, he ain't no special guest. You know what I'm saying? But he been, he been, a, he been out the studio for a while. You know what I'm saying? So, you know whenever you get to jump in, he gonna come in and say a couple of words for y'all. And then, you know what I'm saying? We gonna get ready to close out the show. But all the pod beamers, what you've been asking for, he is here. Chef DJ Ambassador for Christ is in the building. He is here. So when he gets ready to speak, y'all can ask him all the questions y'all want. So, here we are. What's happening, man? What's up? Bro, 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 what's happening, bro? What's going on, bro? Oh, yes. Hey, hey I'm just chilling, man, you know. For the long-anticipated wait, you know what I'm saying, uh, the pod beamers, they've been asking about you. So, um... I'm in the building. I'm in the building tonight, y'all, from a distance. But I'm here. I've been catching up on some things, you know, chef life work, you know, you know, making new deals. You know what I'm saying? We got uh, Samaritan Cafe Kitchen dropping pretty soon. We got Stop Hating Production in full effects, you know. There's a whole lot of other stuff. And then we got fundraiser coming up. Getting ready to do a uh, back to school drive, you know, pretty soon. There's a lot of stuff been on the plate, you know. But I'm here tonight, and I appreciate y'all fans. I love y'all, too. So what's been good with you, my brother? Oh, man, you know, just, you know what I'm saying, been growing and developing and dropping jewels where I can, where I can and um, basically just been pushing forward through this thing that we call life, man. You know, it's not been, it hasn't been an easy road, but it's been a road that I understand that with the right kind of thinking that you can get yourself on through. I mean, I, I totally agree with you. And like what you said, I didn't catch all of it, but about this situation, you did have some strong point, you know, but at the end of the day, we have to stop being self judgment and look at what we can do for ourselves because it don't have nothing to do with the latter stage. It don't have nothing to do with that. And when it comes to selfish people, man, we just have to learn how to like, Deal with it when it happened, but not get so caught up in the social media atmosphere because all it is is just bad policy on some of the stuff. But at the end of the day, you can't stop nobody from waking them to decide to kill somebody or go to somebody with window with guns. You can't stop that. That's just a mental issue that they have to deal with. We all face a mental issue. Heck, I face mental issue myself, but I still manage to wrap myself around and still keep myself going every day. Real talk, because see, I wanted to hurry up and get that and go ahead on and and uncover it before the media get it and they whitewash it or whatever they do to it to try to socialize it and try to make it seem like it's a mental illness issue or, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. All right. So who hasn't had a bad day? So let's start there first. Who hasn't had a bad day? Who hasn't had a day to where nothing has went their way? Huh. I mean, like, even with people, like, who in your life hasn't done what you wanted them to do? 
you know, you know, that's a good question too. And then a lot of it too, when we get grown, when, when we become grown and dust and everything else, we can't look at how mommy and daddy treated us when we felt this way and everything else. We had to, we had to find a way to block that out. No, no, I don't even think it was a mommy and daddy issue because see, mommy and daddy would have beat that ass. So I don't True. think that it was a mommy and daddy issue because by her being the age of 28, I'm 41. So it really, it, they, they didn't, the era of, you know what I'm saying? That kind of un, undeveloping parenting, it didn't come till later on. So she does fit in the criteria of the era that we come out. See, we come out that ass whooping era. We don't come out that era to where, like, our parents want to be our friends. Our parents are our parents. When grown folks talking, the children were somewhere, all somewhere away from That's where true. the grown folks were not, you know what I'm saying, were not doing their thing. And the uncles, the uncles back then, you remember the uncles used to come get all the boys, all the men, take us from around all the women and children and talk to us about men issues. And the women used to also do the same thing. The women used to get all the girls together, all the aunties, grandma used to get all the aunties, all the sisters, all the cousins, sit them around her and she used to tell them how life was. That's what's missing today. Facts, man. You, 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 you got a good, you got, you got, you got, you got a real fact. That's I what's mean, that missing fact, today really. in today's society. That good teaching, that guiding, that growing and that developing. Cause see, when we would sit around with uncle and sit around with granddaddy, they just talk about man shit, things that men needed to know. You know what I'm saying? In, not apart from being the distant, but being better for the woman and the children. And the same uh-huh. thing the women used to do. Grandma used to teach the girls not to go to the hairdresser. She used to teach them how to comb their own hair. Find right. their own clothes. Wash their own clothes. Right. Run their own household. Facts. Right. Learning that the way to a man's heart is not through his penis, but 95% of it is through his stomach. See, that's the thing that women was teaching women back then. And they have strayed so far away to the point to where, and this is probably not even an issue of this caliber, but it does not water down the choice that you and I and so many people have every day to wake up when we are faced with diversity. Facts. When we're faced with diversity, when things don't go our way. Uh huh. So there it is. So there it is. So the the unpredictability will always be there. So we can sit down and we can go back and forth about what's right or what needs to be done. But I'm going to tell you something about a strong conversation that came from me from a brother tonight. Shots out to brother David. You know what I'm saying? Because he said something very interesting to me, but it stuck out. And I know it out of all the things that he said to me tonight, this, what I'm about to say, it's going to put more understanding on the board than anything and everything I done said tonight. He said, quote, an effective conversation is not of one person sitting around talking about what's right, but it's a group of individuals sitting around trying to figure out what's right. So, we can raise all the gun laws in the world. We can pressure the NRA to ban assault rifles and pistols and all the other recreational things that people use in the right way. We can do that. Mm-hmm. Which I think would be a court disaster and it would be a bad idea because that strips away the privilege away from people 
that want to do the right thing and use them for recreation. But I'm not going to get into that because that's a whole nother subject. Because, see, I have to open up a whole nother dialogue on that. So I can't get into that right now. I am, I'm not going to get into that. But, see, we can, we're, we're getting into that maybe in part right, three. Right, right. We're getting into that, the legislation back then. I get into that then, but I'm not going to get into that because... I can open up a whole nother hole. That'll be a whole nother hour. And I'm not trying to take that another hour because I'm already 40 minutes in. But this is a, but, but it's a, it's a deep show. <laughs> and this is a deep, deep show. So that's why yeah. it's lasting the way it's lasting. So I'm not going to get into that right now. But what I will get into is uh-huh. our president, our Congress, and our yeah. NRA mm-hmm. can just tell people. Mm-hmm. We we Man, hope. I uh, I didn't taste it yet. That we made better I choices. Just took it out the oven. Man, you got to click off with that. We're on the show. My bad, bro. Be respectful to the uh, audience, man. Be respectful to the audience. <laughs> Sorry now, about that. Sorry about that. Um. Anyway, back to the topic. We could just hope that they make better choices. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's the show. I hope you enjoyed it. We have another. Um, listener down here at the bottom. Um, uh, oh, let me get one Alex, thing. Me one thing. So thank you for you stopping through. No, no, send the live recording of the Brand Matter Morning Show, and you can catch this episode and um other episodes on Spotify and iHeartRadio. But you can catch this episode if you didn't catch it all. You can catch it tomorrow morning at ten o'clock. And it will be a brand new episode. So to all the pod beamers out there, I got y'all what y'all wanted. So Chef DJ and Belson for Christ did stop through. So y'all know what to do. Y'all already. Oh yeah, y'all can follow me too. I'm all over the social media pages. Uh DJ A four C. You know what I'm saying? And coming soon, pretty soon, the website will be effective. By the end of April, you know what I'm saying? So big ups to that, kudos to that, you know, big things that don't stop nothing what I got going on with my brother, you know. But at the end of the day, business got to go on. Right and on. I'm sorry oh. about the little, little communication just for minutes ago, too. I'm sorry about that, y'all. But I love y'all fans and continue to support us, and I'll be back soon. Oh, man, that's all right. Ain't worried about that. Oh, yeah, by the way, by the way. Before we get out there, by the way, I might need to bring this up, but I was discussing some things with you earlier, and uh-huh. the pod beamers, you know what I'm saying, you know we are at uh, a little bit over 37,000 listeners on pod beam. Just want to let you know that. Okay, okay, pop. Because you gain okay. listeners every day through the engagement, and then the engagement it don't start picking up. So once the studio gets to where, like the thing we talked about offline, as far as the um the movement situation, with it once it moved, the studio moves to the new um location, it'll be able yeah. to uh open up a oh, little yeah, bit more. Right. But by the way, I just want to let you know, um. The uh-huh. Pod Beamers and some of the Spotify people, they want um they want something from you. They want um what they like a uh like a cooking show. Like they wanna know like what it is that you prepare, what it is you cook. So they was asking like can we have like some live shows, some, some live from the kitchen shows, you know. What I'm saying? We, 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 That's in the they, making. They, they, they've yeah, been, they've been asking process. about it. So I wanted to run that by you and see how you felt about that because I already got something to work out to get the plans going to get it signed up because it, it already signed up. I just need you to be like, I'm with it and we can go. Say so, man, you 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 know, just let me know, bro. You know what I'm saying? Time and day, time and day, bro. You know, and I'll be there, bro. We 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 we'll, we'll do it live. We'll do it live straight from the studio. Well, I get with Robin over there at Stop Hating Productions, and I go ahead on and tell her to go ahead and start the uh the process with that. Now, the um when it will be up and running, mm-hmm. it will be up and running. Um, the first episode it should air. April 26th. 
April twenty sixth. Say less. Now, I'm less. not. That's just an estimated date. That's not the. That's not the exact date, but that's an estimate. Yeah, because I All talked right. to Robin over there, and she has um just she can pretty much just run all of that over there. And stop hating productions, cause I bet. all we do do just sign off on everything. So that's I want. Yeah, I got to introduce you. It's a lot of stuff this in, yeah, since you've been off the ad that been been going on that I've been working on. So I just wanted to let you know that that's what the uh people requested. So. I ain't got nothing to do with that, bro. So that ain't got that's on you, man. <laughs> yeah, I got you, homie. Yeah, I got you, big bro. I got you, big bro. So what do y'all want? Y'all want y'all want a soul food dish? Y'all want a seafood dish? What do y'all want? To, what do y'all want? Just drop it in the comment. Let my brother know, and uh, when we go live that day, we'll make sure we have everything in the studio for y'all. I think we will because see, one thing I know about us: when, when once we put our minds together and work together as a team. There's no selfishness when it becomes when it becomes when we work together because see it's not all about me it's not all about you it's about what the company needs and it's it, and we both dedicate it exactly. and we devote time and dedication to separate mm-hmm. ourselves from our own egos come on our own egos our come own on, egos man. to see what's need to be done and what need to be right for the people. Because see one thing about it. If the people don't like it. It ain't going nowhere. Real talk. Fact. And I don't care. At all. Now I'm finna. Uh, I'm finna say something. I don't know. So I know we carry this conversation on a little bit. But I say I own the show. So we can do what we want to do. But I will say this right here. You can take a thousand master classes. You mm-hmm. can pay hundreds and even thousands of dollars for people to teach you how to perform. But the underlying thing that you have to remember, mm-hmm. and to all my haters, hit is and hit is good. Hit is good. If the people don't like you, they just don't like you. Thanks. So, you can let you can sit in somebody's class and they can teach you how to do this and do that for only so long. But when it's time for the originality to come out, if you don't have no basis for what you sit on, then get what? You gonna mm-hmm. die quick, believe. Mm-hmm. So that's to let you know originality and authentication is what's gonna get you through. Cause people buy fake shit every day. Uh, people uh, buy fake stuff every day. What people want, they want real, uh-huh. they want rare, and they want authentic. And that's what the Brain Matter Morning Show give them. Uh-huh. That's why this is the hottest, hottest podcast in Austin, Texas. It might not be the most popular. It might not be number one. But guess what? It is the hottest podcast in Austin, Texas. I done took it over. Took it over. Facts. Facts. And everywhere I go, my name rang out. Mm-hmm. So that's how we're going to end this episode tonight. You know what I'm saying? On Selfish People, part one. All about you. Not, it's not all about you. It's not all about me either. It's right. all about each other. Mm-hmm. Like I tell people all the time, you're going through some things before you can do it. Call me. Text me. Mm-hmm. Come by the house. I ain't doing nothing. Wake me up. And pretty soon, and, and, and pretty soon, y'all, I don't know if it was y'all on the episode. I think it was episode two that we discussed. We will be bringing the late night phone calls back too. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. But see, um, it's all a part of the marketing strategy, you know what I'm saying? Because we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in oh, the yeah. engagement. Because people are aware of what we're doing now, we got to work on engagement. So once we start working on this engagement, everything will be all right. But like A said, we will be bringing back the phone calls. So yeah, y'all be ready for those and all the other good stuff that we have 
Sure. I'm, I'm just gonna let y'all know with this new with this new move and everything else, y'all will pretty much have us pretty much. I'm gonna say me especially pretty much fifty percent of the time because of the, because of the way things are structured and everything is. So fifty bit fifty percent of the time, I will be in the studio and I will be by the phone a lot of times. So I will be more active. And then you know you can catch me on Twitch because you know I be gaming. So you know, you know, yeah, you know. So yeah, so, so we got big, so, so we got big things. We got we got big things working out. We got big things like like really working in the really like working and everything. As in, I already had thought about that too. That it, when we get everything situated, it was going to be time to do do a live show. Oh man, that's already signed up. Ready? The Twitch channel already signed up. Everything on that end. I already has been fine. I already done worked on all that. You know what I'm saying? I done took care of all of oh, that. Man. The channel already signed up. The video feed, everything through the laptop, through the phone. Okay. Feed, all this connected. So, so I'm like, I got it. So I'm like, I got to just get my way up. Just, just make my way over there then. Well, yeah, we will. We, we gonna, yeah, we're gonna discuss that. We're gonna discuss that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. But man, you know what, Ace? I ain't gonna need front to you, bro. I'm gonna keep it one G with you. I'm gonna keep it one G with you, and I'm gonna be straight up and down with you. I'm gonna be straight up and down with you, cause that's the only way I know how to be. What's that? Well, I appreciate you stopping through the studio tonight, bro. Oh, no problem, bro. No problem, I bro. Mean, was- just don't know how much that meant to them fans out there, man. <laughs> Say it's my pleasure, man. I've been, I've been mean. I mean, be honest with your fans. I've been mean too, but my schedule been a little bit tight lately. Man, you know what? Everybody's schedule been tight, but get what we made. We we made sure we do. We made sure to stop through for the ones that mean the most to us, which is the customers, baby. Real talk, real 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 talk. That's it. At the end of the day, real talk, real real, real talk. Because I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I want to give a shout out to to all our friends across the world that's that that tune in. You know what I'm saying? And I greatly appreciate y'all asking about me, my advocacy, but I'm back. Yeah, of course, man. You know, cause. One thing about it, we always talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like that, um, the Nunkin said, because you know, I don't steal, you know what I'm saying, from nobody, and I don't buy I and light. You know what I'm saying? So I don't take nothing from nothing I done heard. And you know, like it says, um, in the, uh, book 48 Laws of Power, one of the laws is use absence. Absence to increase your power because you know too much circulation make your price go down. If you own everything, if you doing this and doing that, and you own this and that, your circulation it go down because people get tired of you quick. But when you go away and reinvent yourself and come back with something new, then guess what? People are more intrigued and they'll draw more interest to it because they be like, "Damn, he took the time to go out to, to, to go away to create that for us." Man, we got to show him some love. But you can't stay gone too long because, see, you're afraid. So you got to pick the right time and the right element to come back. So that's why I do one show a week. And sometimes I skip a week. You know what I'm saying? Because the time and be just right. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? See, this show right here going to land tomorrow, Thursday, at 10 o'clock. And that'll be right on time to tie into the other episode that we just uh-huh. did. So it's all about timing. But we'll get into that because I got to go ahead on the end of this show. Like I said, thank you for stopping through. And I want to thank all my listeners, family, following, and friends for allowing me the privilege of some of your time to talk about something that is so divine. And like I said, if you are having any issues in your life right now, get what you could do. You could do two things. You can fall to your knees. And that's the law to help you. That's the first thing you can do. That's the first thing you can do right there. Now, the second thing you can do is right all at first, if that don't come collectively to you right then, then you can find you some help. Mm-hmm. You can find you some help. You ain't you can you can you can call the hotline or you can listen to this show. To get motivation, or you can listen to whatever it is you want to, but whatever it is that got that, that we got to do to keep people from doing that, then get what we doing our job. Fact. We doing our job. Thanks, because we got to get it to a point to where the children can go back to school, man. 
to where For real talk the high it was when we went to school. We got to get it back like that to where we we got to man, and we can do it if we all just put our heads together and just hope people make the right decisions. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Y'all be blessed out there. Let's stress. Stay hydrated, stay motivated, stay dedicated, but most of all, stay together. It, stay together. Stay together. If not within one self, with each other, because they're strength in numbers. And we will see y'all next time on the Brain Matter Morning Show live. And we will be talking about selfish people, part two, the cop out, the things that people use to hide behind to do dumb shit. Tune in next time. Aircraft Crowley, signing off.